After a day of sightseeing in the west bank of Luxor, we boarded our Nile cruise. The boat is called the Esmeralda and it is in the 5 star deluxe cruise category. I would say it's an older but well maintained boat. To board the boats, we had to walk through the lobbies of other cruise boats that are docked one beside the other. We were able to take a peek at the lobbies of several other boats. Some looked better and some looked worse. When we reached our boat, we were met with welcome drinks in the lobby. The drinks were fantastical with multicolored layers of juice suspended one on top of the other. They looked like the concoction of a mad scientist. So of course, this presentation delighted the kids. We proceeded up three floors to our rooms on the fourth floor. When we met our friends Tom and Mary in Cairo, they gave us the great tip to request rooms on the top floor. I was glad that we did this because the rooms on the top floor had better views. We walked up the grand staircase that circled the lobby and reached our floor. Our family had three rooms, one for my parents, one for Jojo and the boys, and one for Leo, me, and the two girls. It was a tight squeeze, but the rooms were larger than we expected, and the bathrooms were full bathrooms with enough space to maneuver. Most of the cruise boats on the Nile have a maximum capacity of about 200 people. Besides our own rooms and the dining room, the area that we spent the most time in was the upper deck, with the swimming pool and lots of seating areas. The outdoor area afforded the best views of the river and surrounding countryside. All of the meals were served buffet style in the dining room. Breakfasts and lunches were usually more or less the same every day with a spread of breads, yogurts, fruits, salads, soup, and seven or eight Egyptian and Western hot entrees, and of course a variety of desserts. Dinners were themed differently each night. The themes were black and white, Italian, seafood, and Egyptian. Guests were encouraged to dress in accordance with the theme, but we just wore the clothes that we had. Overall, we enjoyed the food on the cruise. Some of our favorite dishes were the fried fish, roast lamb, fresh fruit, and baklava. On Thanksgiving, they even served roast turkey and mashed potatoes, which I thought was a nice touch. In the evenings, there were various performances. We attended a whirling dervish performance on the first night with a dancer wearing several layers of skirts twirled dizzyingly while using one of his skirts as a prop, twirling it above his head much like an umbrella. We also watched a part of the belly dancing performance Jojo was a good sport and when recruited to dance with the performer, put on a great show. While we were on the cruise, we celebrated two important occasions, Leo's and my 16th anniversary and Waipua's 75th birthday. Leo and I had a very low-key celebration, mainly the children made us some gifts. Dean and Amber's gifts were very special. The day before, we had gone to an alabaster shop. The craftsmen gave them some scraps of alabaster and they made gifts out of it. Dean made an alabaster friend for me. Amber colored her alabaster and made two dice, one red for me and one blue for Leo. Each face of the dice has a face with a different expression. Leo and I are meant to roll the dice each day and the faces are to determine how our day will go. We win when we both roll the happy face. I loved the presents. Why Paul's birthday celebration was a memorable one. On the first night, while the boat was still docked in Luxor, Leo, Amber, and I snuck off the boat to find Waipo a small present. We found a lovely jewelry shop with a very friendly owner, and we decided on a simple silver lotus flower pendant with a matte finish, and we paired it with a silver chain. We chose the lotus flower because it's a motif found in temples in Lower Egypt like Karnak and Luxor temples. It symbolizes creation and rebirth because at night the lotus flower closes and sinks beneath the water. In the morning, it rises above the water and opens again. The lotus flower is also found in the Chinese culture and symbolizes purity and beauty because the plant grows in the mud but the flower blooms above the mud, clean and unsullied. That night, the wait staff and the kitchen staff all came to the dining area with an Egyptian handheld drum and sang a boisterous rendition of Happy Birthday in the Western and Egyptian traditions. They brought over a chocolate cake that reminded me of the cake that Hagrid made for Harry in the Sorcerer's Stone. The cake said, Hap Birthday, with a long squiggly line under the Y, and I thought it was just adorable. 
When we got back to the room, the room attendant surprised Waipua by decorating her room like a disco. It was all in good fun and it was such a memorable way to celebrate Waipua's birthday. <laughs> the unexpected highlight of the cruise was meeting a family from Florida. They have three boys, similar in age to our children, and like us, we're also traveling with three generations of family. Without missing a beat, the children immediately began playing with each other and we parents immediately connected. Even though we just met, it felt like we had been friends for years. We spent a couple of leisurely afternoons on the deck chatting away. Rural scenes of farmland and villages beside the river drifted by as the kids played under the golden afternoon sun or frolicked in the swimming pool. Maybe the lovely scenery distracted the other guests from the children's loud voices, crazy laughter, and occasional high-pitched screams. We joked that anybody on their honeymoon would probably not want to have kids after this cruise. But it was obvious that they love their wonderful boys just as much as we love our kids, and like us, wouldn't want any other life besides this chaotic and crazy one. And we were overjoyed to have their company, even if just for a few days. Our Nile cruise experience was unforgettable. We had peaceful moments, mesmerized by the tranquil views of the Nile River and surrounding countryside. We had exhausting moments as we rushed from one temple to the next and tried to cram thousands of years of history into our brains, at the same time trying to appreciate the jaw-dropping splendor of everything we saw. The kids said that they thought a cruise should be relaxing, like a vacation on a boat. I kindly reminded them that we're not on a vacation, we're on a journey, a journey of learning. <laughs>